and welcome to vlogmas day 10. So today I thought I would do a book tag because I haven't done a book tag in a really long time so I found some book tags that I really liked on booktube and today I'm doing the rapid fire book tag. So there's 24 questions so we got to go through this really fast because I also have to leave for work in half an hour so let's get started. Question number one, ebook or physical book? Definitely 100% physical books, hence all the books on my shelf. I My mom has an e-reader, I hate using it. I hate like reading things on my phone. I just, I really like physical books. Nothing beats them ever. Question number two, paperback or hardback? Hardback, 100%. Number three, online or in-store book shopping? So both. Um, I do like shopping in stores because I like having the books right away because I'm impatient as hell. But I also love shopping online because it's definitely considerably cheaper than buying books in stores. So there's that. But then I, again, I hate waiting for the books to come in the mail. It's so painful. But you get more for your money. So. Trilogies or series? I think I might have to go with series for this one, but I also really love trilogies. Heroes or villains? Both. <laughs> um, without villains, there is no story. You gotta go with both. You can't, you can hate the villains, but you have to love to hate them. So, both. So, a book you want everyone to read. Wonder by R.J. Policio. It's such an important book and just, I think everyone should read it no matter what age you are, even though it is a middle grade, I think that no matter what age you are, you should read this book. And you're going to be seeing this pop up a couple of times in this video. Recommend an underrated book. So Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. So this is a book that I read over the summer, and let me tell you, I've heard next to no one talk about this book, but it was a really fun contemporary, and so I think that if you really like fun, easy, contemporary reads then you should definitely pick up this book because it was just it was cute it's not the best piece of literature I suppose um but I really really enjoyed it and I honestly I just I really enjoyed it I read it so fast and I just I highly recommend it the last book you finished wonder by RJ Palacio the last book you bought wonder the movie tie-in edition by RJ Palacio <laughs> told you'd be hearing this a couple of times I'm done now though, so. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? A pencil. A pencil. There's a girl in one of my classes right now who's literally using a Ziploc bag. So guess what she's getting for Christmas? A bookmark. But yeah, I just, I've, I've used a pencil before. Not for like a permanent bookmark, but I've definitely stuck pencils in my books before. Just books, yes or no? Yes. They're cheaper, so why not buy them? A lot of the books on my shelf are used, so. I find nothing wrong with them. I quite enjoy them. Three favorite genres. So contemporary, urban fantasy, and fantasy. Borrow or buy? I prefer to buy. If I borrow books from the library, I just end up wanting to buy them anyways. So, and if I borrow them from a friend, it's the same thing. So I prefer to just buy them. Characters or plot? I have to love the characters in any book that I'm reading. So I think I'm slightly more character driven and I definitely love characters more but plot is also really really important to me like if nothing's happening no matter how much I love those characters I still might be bored so I think it's a bit of both but I think I might lean more towards the characters long or short books both it really just depends on like what kind of mood I'm in long or short chapters short name the first three books you think of bloodlines by Rochelle Mead Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling, and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Books that make you laugh or cry. I like when a book can get enough emotion out of me that I cry, because that means that I really care about the characters and all that, but laughing is also very important, and it's very rare that I actually laugh out loud from a book, so it could go either way. I really don't mind either. <laughs> Our world or fictional world? Is that even a question? Fictional world. <laughs> Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes, although I don't listen to them very often. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Who doesn't? Come on. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Book to movie, because I feel like with book to TV that gives them too much freedom to change. Shadowhunters. Um, so I definitely prefer book to movie. A movie or TV show you preferred to its book? The Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell. Um, I definitely preferred the show to the book. Uh, I did it on the book, but I unhauled it last month. Or like a couple months ago so I don't have it anymore because that's how much I didn't like it I really love the TV show though it's amazing book however just not my cup of tea and finally series or standalones 
depends. Contemporary books, I do prefer standalones. For some reason, I just do. And then fantasies, I do prefer series. I just I feel like with fantasy, you just need a series to actually like tell the story, I feel like. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching my rapid fire book tag. Give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!